What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on one super useful grammar structure that will stand you in good stead when taking your speaking and writing exams. We're going to look at cleft sentences that will help you create emphasis and make your speech and writing more varied and interesting. Are you ready? If so, grab your notebook and let's kick off! And before we start, I want to wish English Beats a happy birthday. It's turning three years old today and I want to emphasize how grateful I am for all your support. Thank you so much for helping this channel grow and sticking by it. And I'd like to thank three people who helped me with the channel. Thank you, mom, for helping me with thumbnails and Instagram. And thank you, Peter and Katie, for being so kind to check my sample sentences and answer my questions. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate your help. And actually, it's a double birthday because it's also mine. So I'm gonna make a wish and blow out the candle. And now let's get down to business. What is a cleft sentence? A cleft sentence is divided into two clauses in order to emphasize new or important information. You can use them both in speaking and writing. In today's lesson, we're going to look at two types of cleft sentences. It cleft sentences and what cleft sentences. First, we're going to focus on it cleft sentences, which is the most common type of cleft sentences. The information we want to focus attention on and emphasize comes after it. It's followed by a clause, usually beginning with that, and it contains information that is already understood. For example, it was Tom who came up with the idea, not Harris. In this case, Tom is new information and came up with the idea is information we already know. We can use which or who instead of that in an informal speech. So we can also say it was Tom who came up with the idea, not Harris. Another example, it was the speaking exam we can say both that or which I failed, not the reading one. We can also use when or where. An example sentence, it was October when I started working on the project. And one more example, it was Javier where I spent my last summer holidays. We can omit that and who when it's the object of the verb and it's informal. For example, it was the dress that I returned to the shop. We can omit that and we can say it was the dress I returned to the shop. Another example with whom it was Jake who I spoke to. The same, it's possible to omit who and say it was Jake I spoke to. We can also use a modal verb instead of is or was. For example, it must have been coffee that prevented you from sleeping. And now we're going to look at when we can use it or it was, new information, that, and information we already know. Firstly, we can use this structure with only when or just when, while, and not until to emphasize a period of time. For example, it's only when you move abroad that you realize 
how much you love your home country. And one more example, it's not until the end of the book that you find out who the murderer is. Secondly, we can use it with because to emphasize reasons. For example, it's because he speaks English fluently that he got the job. Thirdly, to emphasize prepositional phrases. For example, it was on the table that I left the book. And finally, we can use it to emphasize a person or thing. For example, it was Jessica that spied on the bus. And one more example, it was the dessert that I enjoyed most. We can also use phrases instead of question words like how, who, when, or why. Now let's look at some examples using phrases. The first one, the only reason I stayed was you. Or we can also say the only reason that or why I stayed was you. So we have three options. Another example, the place that or where I want to travel to next is Japan. We can also omit that or where and we can say the place I want to travel to next is Japan. Another example, the best way that or in which you can improve your English is by immersing yourself in the language. The same, it's possible to omit that or in which and we can say the best way you can improve your English is by immersing yourself in the language. Another example, somebody that or who I admire is my mom. It's also possible to say somebody I admire is my mom. And the last example, the time when or that I am most active is in the afternoon. The same, we can omit that or when. Now let's move on to the second type of cleft sentences, which is what cleft sentence. The most common question word to start your cleft sentence is what. For example, what I feel like is sushi. But it's also possible to start with other question words like why, where or how. An example sentence, why he did that, is what I can't understand. The purpose of using a what cleft sentence is to introduce a new topic or to correct information that has been said or to give a reason, instruction or explanation. An example sentence, what I meant to say was that we really appreciate your help. One more example, what I want to point out is the importance of a balanced diet. The information we want to emphasize is outside the what clause. For example, what I most like about Valencia is its mild weather in winter. So what I want to emphasize in this sentence is mild weather and it goes outside the what clause and it's very common to use verbs like love, enjoy, like, adore, hate, dislike, want or need. What clause can go either at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. An example sentence, amazing wildlife, was what struck me most in Australia. We can use this structure to emphasize a noun. For example, what I like about Grace is her optimism. We want to emphasize optimism. And we can also use it to emphasize an action or a series of actions. And we usually use do, does, did or happen. For example, what they did was to put off the wedding because of the coronavirus. In this case, to is optional. 
we can also omit it. It's also correct to say what they did was put off the wedding because of the coronavirus. Another example what you should do is to save money for a rainy day. We can omit to and say what you should do is save money for a rainy day. And one more example, what happened was that I got lost and was late for the interview. We can also omit that. So what happened was I got lost and was late for the interview. And last but not least, we can use all instead of what, meaning the only thing that. For example, all that matters is health. All that matters is health. Another example, all I want is to travel around the world. All I want is to travel around the world. And the last example, all he did was to watch TV all evening. If you want, we can omit to and say all he did was watch TV all evening. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and found it useful. I really recommend using a cleft sentence in your speaking and writing exams. And if you want to practice a little bit how to make a cleft sentence, you can write one sentence using or it cleft sentence or what cleft sentence and leave it in the comments below and I will check it for you. And I have another lesson with five more handy grammar structures. You can check it out right here. And guys, once again, thank you so much for choosing me as your English teacher and being a part of this channel. Thank you for watching this very special lesson. If you enjoyed it, please give it a huge thumbs up. Thank you for everything and see you next week. Ciao for now!